What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here, welcome back to Fan Freakin'. Today, we are at the Harley dealership. They got a lot of used bikes on sale, but we're going for the new bikes. We're going to test ride some. As many of you guys know, I currently have a Suzuki GZ250, and I'm looking to upgrade to get a bigger bike to do longer trips. GZ250 is fun around town, but let's face it, on the highway. Anyways, I'll have a separate video for you guys on the GZ in case you guys are wondering or maybe thinking about getting into bikes. What CC should you start with? I love the classic look that Harley brings to the table with a lot of their bikes. Um, I know it's not uh, for people that really like speed because let's face it, uh, Harley isn't about speed. It's more about the torque. It's more about the low end power and it's more about the look. Now here is a heritage I'm about to test ride. Definitely like the look and the style of it, except for that windshield. That windshield has definitely got to go. If we remove the windshield, then we definitely need better bars because those bars actually look like bicycle bars, like a beach cruiser uh, bar, and I'm not digging that. Definitely like the side bags. I don't particularly like the plastic studs that are around the side bags and the seats um, but overall the look and the feel of the heritage from the outside looking in definitely looks good um, but like i said that windshield has definitely got to go and those bars need to be changed up even if i were to consider it but let's go ahead and hop on the bike um, my dudes are actually going to take us on the freeway so you guys will see how it is unfortunately with me recording you're not going to experience the same experience that i had because i gotta tell you this motorcycle has so much torque so much low end when you get on that throttle on highway speeds or even in the city man that thing just pulls and it doesn't matter what gear you're in it just the response is great i was on the highway i was going uh i don't know how fast i was going but uh, I was in fifth gear and it has six gears and I was in fifth gear and man, it just like ripped. I opened up the throttle about 40% and it just picked up and went. It's so much fun. And that's one thing that I love about Harleys. Um, now, uh, we kind of got split up from the group a little bit because there is some traffic. On this highway, um, I think the speed limit's a little bit faster than LA because I was in uh, Simi Valley. Um, but the Heritage, even though it's a soft tail, it's not considered a touring model. The, the shocks are really good for a hard tail and not being a touring model with the touring chassis and the, the you know the suspension and everything it definitely does feel good another thing i like to note about the heritage is yes it is heavy uh, but it's only heavy at a stop and honestly um i'm 6'1 i and i'm flat footed with my knees kind of bent uh, when we come to a stop and it feels really good and the light the weight kind of distributes itself uh really good so um, I don't really feel the weight. The only weight that I feel is getting it off the kickstand. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, but as we're going through the city now, after we went through the highway, um, we get a little bit of, of twisties, not really twisties, but we get some curves that we can go through uh, to kind of feel how it is. And um, I honestly was thinking because this is a bigger bike a little bit heavier than the low rider that I rode uh, Hopefully you guys did see that video if you didn't definitely check it out, but uh, the low rider that I rode um, Definitely was a little bit lighter than this one This one is a little bit more heavy, uh, but it's really nimble. It definitely does handle really good um and in any circumstance from the time that I wrote it and I wrote this for about 30 minutes um, and I've actually been back to the dealership a couple of times to ride it a couple uh, more because Harley is just like you you want to ride a bike you, you want to test ride let's do it they, they want to sell you a bike so they're going to let you test drive it or test ride it as many times as you want um, but uh, definitely am considering the heritage as my next upgrade i'm not completely sure i haven't made up my mind a hundred percent there's a lot of other bikes that i want to give a shot give it a go um 
I don't know if I mentioned, but I did actually go to um, Yamaha's uh, demo day, and that was a blast. The MT-09 is amazing. Um, and the MT, I, uh, I think it was the MT-10 that was just like absolutely insane. Like you open up the throttle, you're doing a wheelie. Um, but I'm test riding a bunch of different bikes. I'm going to all the demo um, rides that they have because I want to see what I want next. Of course, everybody in Los Angeles has a sports bike and a lot of the meetups that I go to and a lot of the group rides that I go to, uh, everybody has a sports bike. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I cannot have a sports bike at least yet because I'm a little um, I'm a little bit too much um, and a sports bike would get me in a lot of trouble I think I need a lot more time um, on the seat and uh, you know before I even consider getting a sports bike but I did try the R3 the R3 honestly was a little bit boring um, I tried the the R1 and that was amazing um, but uh, the ergonomics and the seat position especially because I'm 6'1 um, it, it kind of felt a little bit tight for me and with the Harleys so far I've been digging them because uh, you know you have your feet stretched out a little bit more the Heritage actually has floorboards which is a really nice feature um, I never thought about the fact that my feet have been you know sitting on pegs this whole time um, and I never consider it, but the comfort level of just the floorboards um, is amazing as well. You know, uh, going from the lowrider to the Heritage, uh, I did notice a difference with the windscreen, with the windshield. Uh, I definitely did notice a big difference, especially on highway speeds. So that would be something that I would consider for my next bike. Maybe a windshield or a windscreen, but it would have to be something um, that I can remove because I'm not going to be rocking the, the windscreen the entire time I'm riding the bike. I'm going to be around Los Angeles. Uh, the windscreen would be more for long distance uh, rides that I honestly plan on doing in the future. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I want to upgrade to a bigger, uh, bigger bike is to be able to go on longer rides, go farther, two up, and feel comfortable. Um, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that was my first impressions of the Heritage. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in those comments down below. And if you guys have any suggestions on what other bikes I should test ride or demo, let me know in those comments down below. Also, you know, what, what should I be considering? You guys got to know a little bit of information about um, what I'm looking for. So if you guys want to point me in the right direction, please let me know in those comments down below. Also. How many of you guys ride motorcycles or are interested in riding motorcycles? Let me know in those comments down below. I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.